Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Ish Kristen. Today I'm going to be showing you guys one of the canvases I got from Art and Soul Diamonds. It is called The Last Supper and it is by Mariella Rinaldi. It measures 122 by 45 centimeters and that is the canvas size. The drill field size is 120 or no i think 118 by 40 centimeters i believe uh, so they do include the canvas measurements but we will we will measure and i will show you what i am talking about as you can see this is super super colorful and a little bit of a, a creative spin on the last supper and i am digging it as soon as i saw it i was like i gotta have that so that is that um the the sheet got a little um well i think it got cut a little too deeply and then i folded it and so yeah but they still function it has oh and i have help thanks duncan he knew that you guys would be upset if he didn't make an appearance so here he is the kit has 57 colors and it has five ABs. One, two, three, four. Yes, five ABs. And there are no weird symbols that I can tell. It starts with one through nine, corresponding with numbers one through nine. If you like to kit up in order, that it always makes you guys happy. We have the alphabet. We have A, there is no B. We have C, D, E, F, backwards G, H, no I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, no Q, we have R, we have T, P, T, U, V, no W, we have X, Y, and backwards Z. And then we have some, oh my gosh, this is a mess. Then we have some, you know, generic symbols that I think most of us have seen if you've been diamond painting for any time at all. Uh, the only symbol that I see that could potentially throw me off a little bit is maybe this one just because sometimes those little lines bleed together but i don't see any other symbols on here that look like that so we should be okay and there are some lowercase uh, letters in here as well so when i kit these up i will put the lowercase letters in with the uppercase so i'll go in number order letters and then depending if there's a lot of lines or a lot of dots or a lot of arrows i might put those together Otherwise, I will just kit up the rest of the symbols in color order, and then I pretty much learn where they are, you know, in a timely manner. Uh, and I will cut off that part because this will not fit on my storage bottles, this whole sticker. So I cut them off right there. Bada bing. Let's put that to the side. It does come with an inventory sheet. It shows you what number in order. It shows you the symbol. Uh, the DMC color number, uh, the original quantity of, so how many of that color drill is going to be in this canvas, and then that is how many they actually send you. So there's the weight of the bags, and then it tells you how many bags that it is sending, so you can do inventory, double check that you received everything. We love it. Also, if you did want to do any color substitutions, this is perfect because you could say, uh, 740, I think I want to change that to, I don't know, an AB or a fairy dust or something else. And you know exactly how many you need to buy. I don't think I'm going to need more than five ABs in this kit. Uh, so I will not be doing that, but I know some people enjoy it. So that makes it easy. And I did add up how many diamonds just for fun. There are 74,880 diamonds that will be placed down on this canvas. So that is a decent amount, in my opinion. Uh, so toolkit, we won't go over too much. If you have seen a diamond painting toolkit, then you know what to expect. We have a multi-placer. This is probably a, I'm going to say seven. We have some baggies. We have a little container with wax. Don't forget to peel the little plastic sheet off otherwise you're just going to be violently stabbing it and you ain't going to be able to put wax in your pen we have some tweezers and these are not the murder tweezers so you could in theory use these and not hurt yourself 
now I probably would hurt myself still because I hurt myself on everything. Uh, but if you have kids or something and you know, they want to help or they want to do a special project, these would be great to give to them. Or again, if you're accident prone, we have a pen with a little, I don't know, maybe two, three, four placer. I don't know. And that, then we have a squishy. If you want to use this tray and you're worried about the diamonds coming out, cut a little bit of this off, shove it in there and boom, you have your own little stopper. And then you can put that on your pen. We have a white tray. I use a larger tray just because I like to multi-place and I need higher sides because I am a aggressive shaker. <laughs> so there is that. Duncan, would you like to hold the, the tape measure for me? No, he's not going to help. He's just going to be in my way. So we're going to measure this. So the drill field area is 40, which like I said, is what the, the website said. And you cannot see my measuring because this is, oh, thank you, is so wide. Um, but I am measuring, why is that? Uh oh. Okay. Sorry, my tape measure got all locked up, uh, but we are at about 117, 118. So, woo, there we go. Excuse me. You're blocking my shot. You're blocking my shot. So the canvas printing is super clear. I do not foresee any potential confusing sections. And I was really relieved when I saw this canvas uh, because I was worried that even though it looked like it was color, a lot of color blocking, that there could be hidden confetti throughout the entire piece but that is not the case. So I don't think this canvas will take as long as, you know, a typical confetti heavy canvas that's 120 centimeters. <laughs> uh, but I mean, there is some confetti around here in the little, the little dots in the people's faces to, you know, distinguish where the, the face lines are back here, back here. Uh, but really, I, I, super interesting. I did order another um, Last Supper painting from a different company. And that one is definitely going to be more confetti heavy and more of a um, realistic depiction of the Last Supper. Uh, so I think this will be a very, a very fun, fun version. I am excited and I love colors. So colorful is right up my alleyway. Let me grab the drills. They are in order. So I really don't want to don't want to mess them up too much, but I do have the ABs right here um, and they are resin. I did choose square. Shocking if you know me. And I have really been enjoying the art and soul canvas that I've been working on. The squares have been phenomenal. They line up super nicely. There's not a lot of tabby bits on the side. It's just been amazing to work at. The, the glue is sticky. The canvas is high quality. Just amazing. Amazing. So we have a teal AB. We have a little bit of orange. We have a purple. We have two bags of this one, which is kind of like a orangey red. And then we have a red. And these, because I've already done this, uh, are spread out really, really nicely throughout this painting. So the red is in some of these hearts area. Let's see. This one is the symbol that I said I might have a hard time distinguishing. So it's in here. It's down in here. There's, I think, a little bit in here. And then this one, this 54, this is 606. This one is also throughout all of the, the red areas as well. Up in, oh, again, that's so long. Up over here, down here in this flower. And I love that there's like the hearts and the flowers and the polka dots and the colors because it just, it gives you some little just bursts of fun things to look at. And I think when you're actually diamond painting this, 
then it will kind of, you know, it'll break up some of the color blocking because yeah, like this, this won't take very long, but it could get a little boring. So if you have a little bit of this and you have a little bit of this, I think it is going to go very nicely. Let's see the orange. Hang on. The orange is the, what symbol is that? It's the, I call it the U-turn symbol. So there's just little orange highlights throughout the painting. Duncan, you are not helping, dude. So there's some in there. There's some in this hair. I think it's just the hair that the orange AB. And then maybe not in the background. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, not much orange, I will say. That's okay. I don't think it needs ABs everywhere. And then the purple is this symbol right in here. So all in these people's clothes, in there, in there, in there, in there, in there, in there. No, thank you. Uh, all in here and some over here, down here, all over. Beautiful. Oh, Duncan! Goodness gracious. And then last but certainly not least, one of my favorite colors, the teal. And that is this symbol right here. It's a little arrow. So again, it's just in here, in here, 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 here. Just little, little chunks of sparkly goodness. Love it. I'm gonna push those up there. And then obviously I can't I can't show you the whole canvas in symbol in in symbol. <laughs> Can't show you the whole canvas in frame. I will add in some uh, footage right now. Well, after I'm done talking uh, of it on the kitchen floor to kind of give you an idea of just how big it is. Uh, and then we will be back and I will show you the rest of the canvas. All right, guys, we're in the kitchen and we're on the floor. This is the canvas. Here is my foot for scale. I don't know if that helps or not, but as you can see, it is a big boy, but it is going to look so cool when it is done. Uh oh, I'm going to have help. Hi, Duncan. Hello. Duncan approves. He wants me to start working on it right away. But Duncan, I have other projects I have started. Rub up against me one more time if you want me to get it started right away. Maybe. No, he wants his mouse because it's under the refrigerator. Oh, no, he does. Okay, fine. I'll kit it up and I'll get it started right away. All right. Let's go back to the table, guys. All right. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. So we have the Art and Soul branding at the top. We have a legend over on this side. We have a legend on this side. On the bottom down here. Oops, that's that's my own cat's hair. That's not, that wasn't there yesterday. Uh, we have the website, email address. So if you have a problem, don't hesitate to reach out. My last canvas, uh, I got round fairy dust drills or round soul dust drills instead of square in one color and they quickly made it right and the replacements were shipped in the box with this and the other four canvases I ordered. So fantastic customer service and then down here is a little tiny picture of the canvas. It has the name The Last Supper, copyright Mariella Rinaldi which means that she is being fairly compensated for Art and Soul getting to use her work. So they benefit, she benefits, artists get paid, we like to see it. And then there is a little uh, number down here, F4490, and there is a st sticker on the bag of drills that has that as well in case you separate your canvas and your drills. I do not because I will lose them even if there is a sticker and I am planning on getting this up. So. They're not going to be separated for very long and then it does have the size and again this is the size of the canvas not the drill field area 
the canvas is super sturdy. It has scalloped edges. It has the little pokey pokey holes on it. The backing is nice and soft, but it is a very flexible canvas, as you can see. No creases. There is some plastic creases, obviously, but you know, that's to be expected when there is something this big. The plastic is, it's thin. I mean, it's not, it's not the thinnest plastic I've ever encountered. And honestly, I only, I take off a good chunk of the plastic when I'm working on it and I put release papers down because I have furry little tears that think plastic is for them. And I don't like it when they chew on my canvases. So is there any other things that I have forgotten to mention? Maybe there is, um, but I think that is it. If I think of anything else, I will put it in the description box. I will have a link to Art and Soul's website in the description box as well. Uh, it seems like they're always having some kind of sale and I think they do new artist releases, um, I think on Fridays, but I am not sure, don't hold me to that. And they have a bunch from this same artist. And I know that they're doing some kind of um, event in May, but I cannot remember what it's called. And yeah, so if you haven't, go check them out because their quality is amazing, guys. I, I was so impressed. I know that it's scary to order from a shop that you've never tried before because you know, everything is expensive nowadays, so we have to be careful where we're spending our money because you don't want to put forth the money on something that is not, you know, the quality that you're expecting. And I can honestly say that from what I have seen, their quality is superb. So go check them out. Let me know if you do decide to order for something or if you've tried Art and Soul, what did you get? Not that I need to be buying more paintings, uh, but I know there are some more of the Care Bear ones that I really want, but I'm trying to be good because yeah, I've got quite a stash. So I will let you guys go. If you have not, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, hearting, farting, doing all the things. I have a link in the description box if you want to get your own Pippi the Crafty Peep sticker. I have a link to my Facebook group. I'm sure there's other links that I can't remember what they are. And I will see you guys next time. Big awkward hugs.